Doc Rampageo back again with another toy unboxing. Today I'm looking at two figures from the second wave of Star Wars The Force Awakens Star Wars Black Series figures. Let's look at the Guavian, Guavian Enforcer and Captain Phasma. Phasma. Alright, so like most of The Force Awakens characters, we have no idea what the Guavian Enforcer is all about, <clears throat> but he looks pretty cool. Honestly, to me, this this looks like a Six Inch Joe. This looks like some kind of weird Cobra Trooper. This does not look like a Star Wars guy. Not saying that's a bad thing. Maybe I'll feel different in the movie, but to me, this looks like a Six Inch Joe, which hopefully Hasbro will see someday. Uh, beyond looking like a Joe, this guy is pretty cool. He's got all the standard Star Wars black articulation, double jointed knees, foot, ankle, hinge, swivel, swivel hinge elbow, swivel hinge hips, swivel hinge hands, ball jointed head, and ab joint that is next to useless. He's got a cool outfit though. He's got all these pouches and wires and stuff and more pouches he looks almost deadpoolish in a way too no holsters for his guns but i do feel like maybe you could slide him in the straps who knows as far as guns he's got this really bent thing kind of looks like a laser shotgun of some point some kind as you can see it's pretty bent and then this kind of looks like a laser tommy gun or something hmm. pretty cool the lack of double jointed elbows or bicep swivel is hurting him a little bit like all the force awakens figures in my opinion but what are you gonna do guavi enforcer pretty cool um i think one of the highlights except for phasma of this wave i like him Definitely don't know if he was worth the big bad toy store weight. Those guys really need to up their game because everyone else has had these for months. And I'm sitting here just twiddling my thumbs. All right, the second figure I'm looking at today is Captain Phasma. That's real nice. Nice bent gun. Thanks again, Hasbro. Oh, wow. This Phasma is really loosey-goosey in the arms. Silver, First Order Trooper, cape. The cape has some cool detailing in the back, if you can see. She's got this longer blaster rifle that is bent. And very soft, actually. Oh, yeah, soft enough that you can pretty much just fix it. This is the same blaster rifle as the First Order Snow Trooper. Something I think is pretty cool Hasbro did is Phasma is actually bigger than the other First Order Troopers. This is not a repaint this is a whole new figure i'm assuming it's just the same model upscaled but nonetheless it is nice to have her be a little bigger than the first order guys other than the size she's basically the same she's got the clip on her leg for the weapon uh, she's got the same articulation so no bicep swivel no double jointed elbows um, she's got hips uh, thigh Double jointed knees, the leg, all the same stuff. This is probably the most wanted figure in the wave because everybody already loves Phasma, and I can see why. She's a badass uh, special stormtrooper, which is always nice. And she just looks cool. This is a cool looking figure. Now, I hope that's not a spoiler saying she, but I think by now everyone knows that Gwendolyn Christie is playing Phasma. So yeah, the first two figures of uh, Wave 2, really liking so far. I've liked all the Force Awakens figures, except for the lack of double hands, elbows, and bicep swivels, but that's just the way things go now with Hasbro. So join us next time when I take a look at the other two figures, Poe Dammer in an X-Wing outfit and Constable Zuvio. Catch you next time, TKTV. Say hello to my little friend. Poop, poop, poop.